Well, hello, 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 good folks of YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. As promised, here's part two of the Bad Cat Zebrawood DIY guitar kit. She is hot off the presses and she is looking good. If you want to see how I made this, stick around. I did the whole time lapse video. And big news for the channel here if you want to possibly win this DIY guitar kit, Stick around to the end of the video and see how you can possibly win this guitar kit.
well, there you have it. There's the whole build. You know, some, some little bits of pieces were not there, like me wiring the, the jack and all that, but uh, you saw the basic idea. Now, in going in detail of what I did to it, is I finished it in six coats of true oil, both the body and the neck. I didn't go heavy. I didn't want to go heavy. I know a lot of you are going to be like, well, why didn't you put, you know, 12, 30 coats like a lot of people do on true oil? It's because I wanted that really natural woody feel. I want it to wear naturally as I play it. And that's what I chose to do. I still think it looks great. I've done a lot of guitars with, with uh, low amounts of coats of true oil and they hold up really fine. So you don't need to do 30 coats. Um, it's really cool if you want to build up a nice high gloss shine, but that's not I want what I wanted. Now you can see I still have a little bit of glare and all that is definitely a semi gloss, satin gloss finish. Um, and I just think it looks outstanding. Look at that. That just looks really cool. Everything came out great. Uh, you, as you can see, this is not the stock pick guard. This is, I found this pick guard on Amazon and it had some of the kind of characteristics of the wood and I was just hoping it would look good. And I had no idea it was going to look this good. It really, it almost follows the grain pattern on some of it here. And it's got this cool little knot in here. And that just hint of red just gives it enough differentiation then makes it really stand out. Looks really good. Now, the pickups, the knobs, and the switch are stock. I just had pickup covers, and I had the knobs and the tip switch. I just took the Bad Cat pick, you know, loaded pick guard, and I loaded it in here. So everything else is, is, is their stuff. The bridge, however, is not stock. I had a Wilkinson bridge in my pile of parts, and the re reason I chose that is I had a full-size block, and I really wanted to try that because I thought this, bo this body deserved a really full tremolo. Tuners are stock, string trees are stock, nut is stock. It came out really good. It's got a real satiny feel on the neck. I purposely kind of rubbed out the neck a little bit more, so it's really super smooth and satiny. Uh, I had very minimal work to do, as you can see in the in the video that I just had a little bit of fret work to do, some spot leveling. I think I had to level three frets. That's it, one, two, and then was one down here, which I had to level. And, and then I did a full kind of rounding of the fingerboard edges. I mean, as I said in the video, they weren't very sharp or anything. I just wanted to make them even smoother. So I just lightly rounded them. And you can see me in the video kind of doing a thing with sandpaper. Uh, I did many more like passes and all that stuff. So I didn't videotape that whole process because that's really a long process of, of rounding the frets and polishing them really good. But as I said in the other video, they were polished pretty nice as it was. I just took a little bit finer grade sandpaper to really make them shine. Hopefully that's picking that up. They're, they're really shiny and smooth. No scratchiness at all. The neck feels amazing on this guitar. Just outstanding. And as you heard from the sound demo, the thing just screams. It sounds good. These pickups sound great. You know, ceramic magnets can surprise you. Uh, sometimes people are like, oh, I've got to have, you know, Al Nickel pickups or all that. And, all. and I love those too. I have some in my other guitars, but, but you know, this one, the, the ceramics are a little hotter and all that stuff, which I think kind of suits the, the nature of this guitar. It is a little heavy, but surprisingly not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. It's just a tad heavier than my American Strat, which is cool. Uh, so it's not like a backbreaker or anything. It's just a little heavy, but it feels great. So... That's the guitar, I hope you like it. Now, I know why you're sticking around. You wanna know how you can win that guitar kit. Well, I partnered with the good folks at Bad Cat Instruments and they'd have agreed to give away a guitar kit to one of our viewers. And that's really awesome. I'm really excited that they uh, were willing to do that. So how are you gonna win it? Well, I'm gonna tell you the rules and I'll put the rules on the link below. So number one rule, US citizens only. Sorry, but this one uh, is going to be shipping from the United States. So he asked that we keep it restricted in the U.S. for this one. Doesn't mean later in the line it might not be, but just for this one alone. Number two, you must be subscribed to this channel. You have to be a subscriber to this channel. Number three, you must comment down below what you think of this kit and why you want to win that one. Now, don't just say, I think it's awesome and I'd really like to win it. I want something creative because that's how I'm going to choose. Number four, you must like this video and share it. 
that'd be really great. Number five, you must join the Bad Cat DIY Guitar Kit Forum on Facebook. I will put links in all these things below. And in two weeks from after I pick this video, after I post this video rather, I'm gonna look through my comments, both on here, on YouTube, and the comments when I post the link to the video on the Bad Cat DIY Guitar Kit Forum. And I'm gonna choose one person to win this guitar kit. And once that happens, I will announce it in a separate video and I will I will announce your name and let you tell you guys how you can contact Bad Cat so we can get your email, your address and and all your information so we can ship this off to you. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Uh, I really had fun building this guitar kit. I'm really blown away by Bad Cat Instruments. The fit and finish of this kit was really amazing. Really best, one of the best I've ever, I've ever done. Uh, the fretwork is spot on. I mean, like I said, light spot leveling, but that's to be expected. No big deal on that. Easy stuff to do. It came together really nice. It was really easy to work with. Minimal sanding required, as you saw in the video. Although, you know, I fast forwarded it and didn't record all of it, but very minimal sanding required. Everything was prepared really good. Even the nut, which I was blown away by. I only had to file one slot. The other ones I just cleaned up a little bit, but they were really good. She stays in tune like a beast, even with these stock inexpensive tuners. She really stays in tune. So I was really shocked by that. So really awesome kit. So like I said, comment comment below in the rules and the in the link in the description below. You'll have all the rules to try to win that kit. Thanks for watching. Hey, already said it, but please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. In about two weeks, I'm going to definitely post another one where we will announce the winner of the Bad Cat DIY Guitar Kit. Thanks for watching again. We'll see you soon.